Hey guys, before we dive in, I wanted to discuss my latest course called Hello Rails. This course is about Ruby on Rails, and it's about taking an app from an idea and turning it into a realistic production level app. So we'll talk about everything from installing Ruby on Rails to literally using front end frameworks to kind of enhance it, deploying the app, things like testing, talking about test driven development, all of those topics and more will be covered in this course. It is more of a beginner guide to get into the framework. So if you're a seasoned pro, this might not be for you, but my hope is that maybe you too could learn something from this course. This course is my attempt to transition what I've learned over the years and give back. So check out Hello Rails at hellorails.io or follow us on Twitter at hello underscore rails. If you have any questions or feedback from me, feel free to tell me personally, leave them comments on this channel, wherever you can find me, get at me. And with that, we will continue on. Hey all, welcome to another, I would say mini let's build with Ruby on Rails. And this one's gonna be focusing on the email subscription workflow of a typical web app. So if you've ever encountered some sort of transactional email from an app you might use in the wild, chances are there's notifications behind some of those. So when you perform an action on the app, uh, something triggers a mailer or something in the background to go ahead and send you something. Um, or if someone else does something that you're subscribed to, maybe you'll get an email that says, and it gives you an update of what happened, um, or, or even something more like a newsletter or subscription style email. And the concept behind this is the idea of you have your own personal settings in your account, but also the ability to unsubscribe for a given like notification in a project. So I've created this very primitive to-do list style app that's like a, a very trimmed down project management app, I'm calling it. But the whole concept is uh, when I create a task um, and I'm a person subscribed to the project, um, I'll get notified. And assuming if it's if it's me who creates the task, then the other person who subscribed to the project would get the the email, in particular. So, I have two windows up here. This is this is what it lo looks like. I'm using my kickoff template. Um, I'll link to that in the description, but also in the dis um, blog post that goes along with this video. But the general idea is you create a project, and I'll notify you in three ways. You'll either be notified if you've been added to a project if you created a, a task, and then if you completed a task. So I have two different profiles at this point. This one is John Smith. I commonly use Jay Smitty as the username, and this one's just actually my account. Um, we're using, like I said, the kickoff template, so it's nothing fancy here, just some basic boilerplate code. But I created a project here. Uh, if I were to create a new task, second task, create a task, um, assumingly we should get an email, but it's because I um, am subscribed to this. I think that's right. Yeah, there's another task. So I got an email f from completing the task. And once that's done, uh, you'll just continuously get those emails. But notice in the email itself, I've got this turn off uh, toggle. So the idea behind this, uh, since I am John Doe at this point, um, I think I believe I need to sign out by clicking this. It's, it's going to send you to this route. Notice the URL. Uh, I create this fancy link based on your subscription settings and then pass a parameter to it. Um, that would end up being the profile settings toggle switch. So there are these Boolean properties we added in the preferences. And this is where that gets notified. So the reason when I um, complete a task, it gets unchecked for that account. So that's that's kind of neat in this in the sense of this. But behind the scenes, I'm using this app called Mailcatcher. It's it's a way to intercept emails locally, so you don't have to worry about anything going into production mode or just you know actually getting the real email sent. It's a great way to check. Uh, but we'll also use a testing framework for seeing the emails within Rails itself. If you go to localhost. Uh, Rails, I think mailers, you can actually preview your, all your emails that you have in your app. Uh, so that's these in particular, they just use dummy data. So like I said, nothing fancy in terms of looks, but it's just showing you the state of things. So notice the subject line is, is kind of giving us some insight of what's going on here. 
So the idea of first constructing the basic primitive app uh, will take some time. It's probably overkill for this concept, but I want to give you a real world use case for using something like this. So you'd have your profile settings to account for, but also just your user um, unsubscribe settings. So when you click that link, this will auto update in the background. So every time you won't even need to be logged in to go ahead and click this link in an email. You could just unsubscribe immediately, which is the perk. Um, I don't know if you ever had a service where they want you to log in first before you unsubscribe anything, but that is the worst experience ever. And I recommend never doing that. So let's uh, basically kick off the project. I'm going to use my kickoff template. Um, you can download that on GitHub. It's, it's the, I think it's on my profile if you go to that. Uh, but again, I'll share that link. So in the next video, we'll actually get started. This is just an introductory of what we're doing. And uh, so in the next screen or next video, you'll see me just kind of kick off the project. So I'll see you in that one.